everybody, JP Hunt from Inksoft, and in this video, I wanna show you an enhancement that we've just added to Inksoft proposals. And this enhancement has to do with adding more functionality and capabilities to the add custom line item feature. So let me kind of walk you through what's new and how you can best take advantage of it. So here we are in a brand new blank proposal. And of course, Inksoft proposals is a tool that you can use to create manual orders, you can use to build invoices, art approvals, and its namesake, of course, is the ability to build you know, proposals and presentations to win new business. So when constructing your proposal or your invoice, the Add Custom Line Item feature is a handy way to introduce a custom line item, a one-off ad hoc product. Now, maybe this is a product that you don't want to introduce to your permanent Inksoft library because it might create some noise. Um, you just want to really have a, a tool that you could rapidly introduce that product uh, to then get that in front of our customer. And that's exactly what the Add Custom Line Item feature is intended to do. So here we are, uh, now that I've clicked the Add Custom Line Item feature, here we have a brand new user interface whereby I can enter in the name to represent this product. So what I'll do is I'll type in Youth Face Mask. And what I can do is click the icon right above the item name, and that will allow me to browse for an image to represent this particular product. Now I do want to call out that you can upload up to four images to represent a custom line item. So if you have let's say maybe the front of a garment, the back of a garment that's gonna be decorated, you can upload up to four images. Now optionally, you can add a product color. So in this case, I'll add green to represent this particular face mask, that's optional. We didn't want to impose any kind of friction. I can also break down the different quantity and size and price configuration. So in this case, maybe I'll add 100 units of youth and that's gonna be $4.99 for a decorated face mask per unit. And so what I can do is just click add and that is a custom line item, it's done. Now I can always come back and I can edit, I can copy and I can remove. Let's take a look at the edit capabilities and I wanna call out some additional functionality that's available in this new enhancement. Now, probably the most important thing here is to add a line and this allows you to create different configurations of quantity, size and price. So maybe this isn't just gonna be a youth face mask, maybe this is gonna be a face mask for youth and for staff and my customer wants 100 units of each. However, the staff face mask is a dollar more. So I can reflect all of that nuance here. In fact, I can even browse for a product image to represent the staff version of the face mask. So again, here's one custom line item with two different configurations of quantity, size, and price. And I can go ahead and update those changes. Now, just like when creating products using the other tools that are available in proposals like Rapid Product Creator or leveraging an existing product that's already created and saved, of course, I can add notes to you know, give my customer some nuance or maybe do a little storytelling, a little product marketing uh, that would be associated to this particular product. So that's available to you as well. Now, here is my favorite feature, the ability to copy. So I can create one custom line item and then I can create a derivative and make modifications to it. So maybe I wanna have two separate line items, one for youth face mask and one for staff. That's exactly what these capabilities of you know, the copy function will allow you to do. So I'll come back to the very first one and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the staff face mask and I'll put in the name uh, youth face mask. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the image to represent staff face mask. So truly this is now a custom line item to represent the youth face mask version of this particular product. I'll come back to the, the clone and I'll also edit that to make the same changes. I'll remove the image. I'll go ahead and remove the youth uh, version of the quantity, size, and unit price breakdown. And I'll click update. So here I have, uh, just by simply copying in terms of efficiencies, it really speeds the process of building different presentations of maybe a similar product. Now there's a lot of upside in doing that because once this is converted into an order, Maybe you need to manage the order and there's some change management involved, meaning maybe the client called and said, hey, we, we don't wanna uh, purchase staff face masks after all, can you cancel that? So because these are separate units and separate items, I'm gonna have that flexibility downstream as it relates to any kind of change management that might be involved in this particular order. So this has been a quick video overview of the new expanded and enhanced custom line item functionality in, in Inksoft proposals. Expect a lot of forthcoming new features and enhancements to proposals. Uh, really excited about some of the things that are in the roadmap uh, that we'll be releasing over the next couple months. So keep an eye out for some sneak peeks and for those announcements. Now I wanna call out if you have any questions about this new enhancement or any of the other you know, features or functions that are available in Inksoft, please reach out to this Inksoft Success Squad. We are here to help you no matter what 
uh, the ask is. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you get some value from this new enhancement.